Let us look at an animation to understand the steps involved in mechanical recycling. The first stage is cutting or shredding, wherein the mixed waste stream is taken in the baled form and charged to the machine for size reduction. It can be a shredder, where larger chunks are broken down into smaller ones for washing and sorting purposes. The next stage is contaminant separation, wherein floating represents the simplest forms of sorting by the density principle and the floated material is considered as the separated part because the heavier material will be non-plastic in nature if we consider that the density of the material that we need to sort is less than one. The next stage consists of milling down the sorted plastics with the help of a hammer mill. The next stage consists of washing and drying wherein the small chunks are passed through washing which can be either hot or cold or both one after the other and are passed through normal and or the oven based thermal drying techniques. The washing can also be chemical in nature wherein the solutions that may be considered will consist of alkalis which are more aggressive at washing away the unwanted material from the waste. The next stage is that of agglutination which is agglomeration of the plastics and preparing them for the next stage which is the extrusion stage. The extrusion stage involves the charging of small pellet shaped agglomerated chunks into the hopper and its subsequent conversion into small pellets that can be used by further processes such as injection, blow, rotational etc to make further products which eventually meet the waste stream, hence closing the loop. The in-house scrap generated at all levels of processing can be taken back to the processing stage that is agglomeration for extrusion and brought back into the loop.